Kraken hosting the Avalanche, and the Avalanche are minus 160 on the money line. The Kraken are plus 135. The over-under is six goals. The Avalanche laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 170, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. And the Kraken getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 205, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow, so be ready for game number three. Now, this is probably one of the most competitive series that we're going to get in the first round in this playoffs, which is actually good because, you know, it's nice when there's one of them at least. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is 5-3. and three. These teams are 4-4 four and four against each other in their eight meetings. The underdog is 5-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-1. and one. There have been seven one-goal games in their last ten meetings, and there have been... It's six out of their last seven that they've played against each other. The only one was the, the not game two, game number one, was the only game that wasn't a one-goal game in recent history that they've played against each other. The under is hitting their last five games. The under is five and two, and the under is six. Forgive me, the under is six and two. I have to learn how to do math. And the under six is six and two. The last game they played, the Avalanche won, and I was so mad because I actually bet the Kraken on the money line instead of taking them with the goals. The Avalanche won 3-2. In game number one, the Kraken won 3-1. The game before that, the Kraken won 3-2 in Colorado. In overtime, the game before that, the Avalanche won 2-1 in Seattle in overtime. And the game before that, the Kraken won 3-2 in Colorado. For whatever the reason is, the road team wins these games. And that's generally why the underdog has been winning so much on the money line because generally the home team is the favorite. And this... In this particular set of circumstances, they made the champions the favorite on the road. Probably something to do with these stats. I'm going to take the Avalanche with the money line. I am going to take the Kraken getting the goals. And I'm going to go under because, I mean, seriously, when they play each other, all of these games are close. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.